The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion was a game developed by Bethesda Softworks and released in 2006. In today's jolly old YouTube challenge on the Rapscallion of a Mickey D channel, we will see if we can defeat the illustrious gatekeeper without using bone arrows or tears. Never mind that shite! You and me, gatekeeper, we're gonna be doing this. You're going down, bud. Mickey D and gatekeeper. Hell in a cell. I'm putting this out on the box office and you'll have to watch it on fucking Sky. This is going to get more views than Logan Paul and fucking who's he fighting? I don't know. The son from Teletubby. <laughs> so in this challenge, I'm going to be defeating the gatekeeper using unintended means, which means we can't use the bone arrows and we can't use Ramina's tears. If you don't know who the gatekeeper is, he's the very tough enemy at the start of Oblivion's great DLC, the Shivering Isles. You're supposed to take him down using bone arrows or Ramina's tears because the gatekeeper Gatekeeper is a particularly tough enemy. He has a constant 8 points of regenerate health and he's able to cure poison. He's a difficult enemy to take down, so we're gonna have to think about how to defeat him in other means. Now, I didn't want to go too exploity for this video. I didn't want to do like weapon enchantment exploits or any kind of guff like that. I wanted to do kind of fair tactics. Well, you'll see what kind of fair tactics. I mean, maybe they are. I don't know. Look, you'll see. You'll see. I'm not one of the big challenge fellas who like fake a divulge into the game. I'm just gonna try a bunch of shit and see what works, you know? Okay, so here's the ground rules. We're starting at level 1. We're starting just as we leave the sewers. And just to make it a bit more interesting, I'm not going to be using any of the items that I got during the tutorial. I'm going to skip the tutorial because who wants to see it? I'm going to drop all my items that I got during the tutorial and we're going to go in completely naked and I'm going to get some gold. I'm going to get all the items we need and we're going to prepare ourselves to take on the gatekeeper. Now the thing for this video is that I'm starting off at level 1 and I'm going to stay level 1 because the gatekeeper has less health at level 1. He'll still be a bit tough, I think. But look, we'll see. I originally went in trying to silence the gatekeeper. Um, that didn't work. His health just kept regenerating. So that was out of the picture. I tried to use the adventurers that attacked the gatekeeper to my advantage. But I think the game is scripted so that the adventurers don't do any damage to the gatekeeper at all. So you can't use them to kill him. So that was great. I wanted to like remove the gatekeeper's regenerative health buff and then use the adventurers to attack him. But they're not going to put down his health. I'm pretty sure it's scripted that they don't. I was a bit lost after I tried only two things. So I I essentially tried nothing and I was all out of ideas and me and the discord came together we came up with a decent plan and this is that decent plan I hope you enjoy the video I have a save that's just in front of the sewers if you ever play oblivion I recommend you do this so you can skip the tutorial something wants to kill me it's the start of the challenge I haven't even made my character yet hi rat we have an imperial voice right now but we're actually not going with an imperial we're gonna make a good old edit race i wish i could edit my race in life i'd want to be super irish i'd be irish times too nord there we go all right do we do the funny slider things do we make the funny elders oh god look at him oh jesus he's so stout oh his head's really what yeah we'll give him the biggest head we can think of big heavy fucking thing all right we'll give him big old eyes why not he's ha oh he looks delighted oh he's happy with life i think i just want him he's happy to be alive he's ambitious in life he wants to take on the gatekeeper you're a bit pale pal you're a bit pale so i'm just gonna fucking i'm just gonna give you a nice big red nose there you're <laughs> that'll search you that'll search you uh what name do we give him i'm just gonna call him toto so why not toto the nor Oh yeah, a birth sign. We need the warrior because we are going into this with our muscles. We need a big muscly man. So we're taking the warrior for 10 points of strength and endurance. That's going to be pretty crucial. I haven't even exited the sewers and you're giving me DLC. You could probably just get away with like a warrior class. Armor, athletic blade, block, plant, hand to hand, heavy armor. Uh, you know what that's honestly fine we'll just pick a custom class why not even though i'm doing like a proper challenge we're probably going to do this horribly anyway now you might notice we have all this beautiful gear we got from the tutorial but since you didn't see me do the tutorial and it's not really part of the challenge what i'm going to do is i'm going to drop all this stuff and we're just going to go in naked i'm going to drop all these things because it's not fair me going into a challenge having stuff you didn't see me get because i didn't want to go through the tutorial the lockpicks have to go even the torches oh his head's way too big for his body i like it okay first thing I need is armor this is going to be a fun one what we're going to do now but the first things first I need some armor I need some protection go away DLC get away from me I should have flare right I have some of the defense oh yeah by the way uh difficulty normal it's right in the center difficulty is going to be normal for this whole video we're going to be sticking to level one because uh the gatekeeper is less health at level one 
That's a nice big hammer. Do I want the big hammer? I do have hand hand as a skill, so... There we go, down the airboat. Should I go with the Peter Gabriel belt and just use a sledgehammer? I probably should. I have no pants, who needs them? I've laced leather pants, I'll equip those, why not? That's nice, okay. We need to go and visit our little friend Umbra. There's an enemy after me. We need to go to the waterfront and swim, I think, to around here so we can find Umbra. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna lead Umbra into the Imperial City and get her to be attacked by guards so we can get her really good armor and really good sword. It's ebony stuff. If you don't know Umbra, it's ebony gear. Oh, it's just mud crab. There you go. It's just plenty of mud crabs. I'm Peter Gabriel, fuck off, even though my name is Toto and I'm an Ard, whatever. Okay. Now there's a chance this might not work. What we want to do is lead Umbra to the Imperial City for the guards to attack her because I don't want to read the Black Horse Courier fake news. Yeah, we won't be able to take down Umbra on our own. We need to lead her into the Imperial City and have Imperial guards take her down. So that's the hope. There's a chance this might not work. I believe you can't be in town and then travel to Umbra. Otherwise the guards will attack you if you attack Umbra. It's something like that. You need to be out of town for like three days. But since we started at the tutorial, I think we should be okay to just lead her back at the guards should attack her. Otherwise this might take a few tries and that could be very annoying. But here's the tomb anyway. We're gonna go see Umbra. I have all this gear and protection now actually but <laughs> protection. I'm so mature. Even though I'm gonna have to run away from Umbra and I'm gonna need some good speed to actually get away from her. I also have no potions. So shit this is actually gonna be tough. I have no healing potions at all. Uh oh. Well when in Rome huh? Is there a mage around here? There's a scamp. There's a scampy bastard. Go back to oblivion you yeah, ficker. I should probably have healing potions for this. In fact, yeah, I'm gonna go get healing potions. I need money. I'm gonna get some quick money. This won't take two seconds. I'm gonna get some welkin stones and then I'm gonna go back to the Imperial City and buy some minor healing because I'm gonna need them. Like, I'm not gonna be able to just run past Umbra. Umbra's gonna catch up to us a few times with the speed she moves at, so I need healing potions. Minor wounds is not gonna cut it. <laughs> I have a sledgehammer and you have a sledgehammer too, we're sledgehammer buddies. Bye sledgehammer buddy. Oh you have a big battle axe. Maybe that's better. Oh, I got a minor healing, that's good. Friendship over with sledgehammer, now battle axe is my best friend. It has drain strength, oh the warhammer does more damage. Never mind, never mind, never mind, we can sell the axe I guess. Okay what I want is a few welkin stones. I'm not tired, I'm a big boy. I could stay up as long as I want. I am tired actually, yeah. <laughs> Healing potions in this game are pretty expensive though, is the thing. There's Welkin stones here, I don't think these would be exactly enough to get us a bit, but look. There's some gold here already. There's some iron stuff, yes, I'll take all of this. I know lockpick bollocks. I'm gonna take as much as I can here. I could probably go deeper into the cave to get some more Welkin stones and a Valara stone. And also a statue, but I need to get through this challenge kind of quick now. So I'm just gonna go back and get whatever healing potions I can get. And we're gonna take on Umbra or run away from her really quickly. Okay, hopefully I have enough stuff. We're gonna go to the copious coin purse, my favorite wood elf in the game. I love Oblivion's relaxing music. It's very nice. I might need that many healing potions, but it's good to have a bit. Oh, there's the strange doorway in the Nibbin. We're gonna be going there soon. Have a look at my- I'm gonna get his haggling up a bit. Uh, I think that should be okay. Usually that- that works around. Make me a better- Oh, fuck off. There we go, all right. The battle axes are worth a bit. Oh, I'm gonna need a ton of gold as well to actually repair the Umbra gear. I have one weak potion of healing. I have seven Vulcan stones. That's 428 gold to get some minor healing. The thing is, once we get Umber's gear, we might have to repair it, and repairing her gear might be really expensive, so I might have to go into that tomb once more and get the Valara Stone and the Welkin Stone, but that might not take too much time. Uh, Mystic Emporium. The Gilded Draft, that's where we're going. Hello, Gilded Draft woman. I have everything for the budding alchemist. I get it, budding alchemist. Bud. Alchemist, huh, I'm not your pal. They're strong healing, weak, weak. I need weak, because I'm a weak man. How much for five? 450. Oh, gee, I don't even have enough for four. An excellent deal. Uh, do you want some bread and shit? 73. How much for one? I have 73 gold now. 90 gold? Oh, you're a ripoff. Okay, so I have five weak potions of healing, which, look, that should be enough. Okay, this plan is a bit all over the place, but the best challenge is there. Okay. Who's there? It is only me. Bye now. He has some good stuff. Let's go, Umber time. Umber runs pretty feckin' fast, so I'm likely gonna have to take off all my gear. Oh, there's Welkin stones here, but I can't get them. 
That rat just goes out in one hit. I love that. Most of you are probably thinking I probably could have picked Argolian and brought Umbra into the poison chamber and that would have killed her. But we need Nord for the strength boost. Oh, there we go. Where did that go? Oh, give me the stone. Give me the stone. Give me the stone. I'm pressing E. Are you for real? There we go. That's it. I need Nord for as much strength as we can get. And I think Nord has the highest strength starting off. So that's why I picked Nord. So I couldn't pick Argonian. But we can take out Umbra by other means. Just by luring her into the Imperial City. I could have just gotten these Vulcan stones here. And uh, then gotten back to town and gotten healing potions. Anyway, we're just going <laughs> This plan is so haphazardly put together. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I'm just gonna forget about the Vulcan stones for now and just take on Umbra. Alright, coming up to her now. Getting pretty close. Here's our flare. The Oblivion 2 music. 2 music. The Oblivion 2 music is very foreboden. There she is. How are you doing? Come on up. Follow me. It's like knock knock run away except she actually has a sword. Oh fucking no 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 no. Okay I'm actually gonna take off all my armor which sounds stupid but we run faster without it. Don't censor me YouTube. He's naked you know. Oh shit she's fast. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh no 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 no. Nee 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 I feel like they are going in. Nee 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 nee. I'll just take down the gatekeeper. <laughs> See, she takes damage in the poison room, but so do we. But I think if you're an Argonian, you don't take damage because you're resistant. Okay, we're outside. We need to go back to the Imperial City. It's a very grey day. All right, come on, Umbra. <laughs> My guy with just his red nose. She gets pretty fast in the water, and unlike Skyrim, she can actually attack us in the water. That's going to be an issue. I think attacking Umbra can actually give you a bounty. Oh, we didn't. That means we should be okay. It gives you a bounty, I think, if you're in, like, a town recently. It's a weird system. I don't know how it works, but sometimes the guards will attack you if you attack Umbra. Sometimes the guards will attack Umbra instead of you. I think this time we should be okay for the guards to attack Umbra. Where'd she go? There she is. Jesus. <laughs> that scared the feck out of me. She's trying to trap my soul. Guard. There's a guard. Okay. It's all over, lawbreaker. What? You... Don't tell me it failed. See, I have no bounty. And Umbra's attacking me. 40 bounty. Okay, I need to redo this. Shytox! Okay, well, I think I need to wait a few days and then try this again. The guards went for me. That didn't happen when I tested this. Oh, bollocks. This is annoying. I don't need this to be happening. I think it's because I traveled to the waterfront and then I was technically in town. So now the guards are aware. I don't know how it works, but it just works that way. Oh, because I went to buy potions. Oh, I forgot I went to the Imperial City. We need to wait three days. Okay, we should be all right after waiting three days because... Fuck, I forgot we did that. Yeah, getting potions was a dumb idea because it like messes with the guards AI when we want to bring Umbra into town. I don't know how it works exactly, that system, but it's just apparently how it works. If you're in town too recently, guards will attack you instead of Umbra. Okay. Second time's a charm. It's interesting how we only get the bounty when we first go into town when Umbra's attacking us. Like the bounty only appeared after Umbra came into town and civilians saw Umbra attacking us. Umbra shall feed. I like how the civilians take the side of the girl who is saying Umbra shall feed instead of the feckin'... Well, I do look like a bandit, so maybe it's right that they're not taking my side. We actually didn't get hit by Umbra. I was able to keep a good distance away from her. But I'm still gonna take off all my stuff again. Come on. We should be okay this round. Oh, it's a nice sunny day now today. That's nice. I'm getting old. I'm just talking about weather and video games. <laughs> Umbra, are you okay? Umbra, where are you going? Where are you going? Darling, what are you doing? Oh, she went to attack something. Oh, no. She de -aggroed. We don't want her de -aggroing. We don't want her to de because we'll have to attack her again and that could risk me getting a bounty. Come on. There she is. Okay. Just try to keep her on you. We can't have her aggro anyone else until she gets into town. Then she'll attack the civilians. And then when she attacks the civilians, she'll be the one murdering them. So, okay. See, this is why I need the healing potions because she's really quick. I think that's how we know it works because she went to attack something else. I think she attacked maybe a guard on the road or something. No, the guard had a lot of health. Where are you? Oh, she's under the water. That's freaky. Oh, she's right under me. That's scary. But yeah, I think it should work this time. I think that's a good indicator. She might start attacking civilians once we get into town. Okay. Here's hoping it works, fingers crossed. Otherwise, I don't know what we'll do. It worked. Okay. No! Stop right there, criminal I have to restart the challenge from the beginning. 
I'll be right back. This is fucking annoying. Come on. I need her armor and I need her sword. That's fine. Yes, Nord. Okay, I did not expect for this to happen. Um, it happened perfectly last time I tested it, just to see if it worked. I don't know what exactly I'm doing wrong this time, but... I'm just gonna stay away from the Imperial City, because I think buying potions is what screwed me up. I can get gold later, I'll go through that tomb again, and I'll get all the Welkin stones, and I'll get the Valar stone, and maybe even the statue that we can sell to Umbakano for gold. I did not think this step was gonna be the longest step. It shouldn't be the longest step. Oh, this is just annoying. I didn't even change the guy's name or edit his face, I'm just going straight back into this. Okay, we're almost there again. I can only try this one more time and then I don't know what to do. Third time's a fucking charm, I... I'm not gonna bother with the Welkin Stones this time, I'll just get the ones that are in... Bilverin, I think it's called? Vindossal, that's the name of this tomb. Okay, I'm just gonna hand to Angie. Fuck ye. I don't need weapons. I don't need a Peter Gabriel sledgehammer, you're going down, bud. There you go. What happened when I was testing this out was that Umbra just went straight for civilians, killed a civilian, and then the guards went for her instead? I can't have it so that the guards are going for me. It's just, I can't have it work like that. I'm listening. Someone's actually listening to me. That's a big surprise. And down you go, bud. I've no healing potions now because I, I, I can't risk going to town again. Because I think it messes with the AI in some way. I heard a rumor about a doorway in the Nibbin. I heard a rumor that you're an idiot. Any truth to that? Oh, that rat's fucking gone. Bye, bud. I think he's still alive. Oh, what a trooper. You're dead now, though. Alright, Umbra, once again. Maybe I should have just picked Argonian. If this fails one more time, I'm gonna pick Argonian and we're just gonna gas her out with that. I don't know if I'll have enough strength to take on the gatekeeper, but we do have a backup plan for strength, which might work. Look, we'll see. What if I sneak? Why are the guards on her side? To be fair, I am just needlessly attacking her for no reason. She doesn't even attack you on sight. You need to, like, attack her to lure her. Go tradition again. I'm confident that it should work this time. If not, we have a backup plan, but still, it's just annoying. I did not think I'd have to do this three times. Oh, come on now, I don't have healing. I have potions of sorcery. Having no healing here is actually a bit of a detriment. Okay, where is she? She's under the water, right? Oh gosh, she's right under me, that's so creepy. There's a civilian. You're going for me, aren't you? Well, that plan failed. Great. Um, Fantastic, that failed three times in a row. Argonian it is, and I'm gonna need to use a backup plan to get strength. Argonian, I'm gonna call you Toto's old boat. I don't think Argonian's a very good strength. Just to be safe, I need to pick acrobatics. Strength, endurance, sure. So I can jump up onto like one of the pedestals in the room with the poison. I think that should work. I need to drop all this crap again. Hello, Argonian. I wasn't expecting to have to use an Argonian. I did not think this challenge was going to turn out this annoying. I really wasn't expecting this at all. The first time I tested bringing Umbra to the Imperial City, guards immediately attacked her. I don't know what changed. I don't know what I did differently. But apparently it just doesn't want to work today. And if I sound frustrated, it's because I am. That's annoying. You have a plan, you set it out, you test it, and it just fucking... There's obviously something I did differently and I don't know what it is. People in the comments probably know already and are screaming it at me. But for some reason that plan didn't work out. I think Argonian should be resistant to poison in the chamber. So we can gas her out. How much strength do I have? I need a good amount of strength. 55? Oh, shit. This could be an issue. I have ways of getting up strength. There might be even some strength buff potions we can maybe buy. I'll check the alchemist. The skooma buff strength? There's a way I know how to buff strength, which we'll get to after we defeat Umbra. Hopefully when I go here with this Argonian, we should actually be able to resist the poison that's in this room. Where's the poison? Yes, we do. We resist it completely. Oh, this is perfect. Why is this step taking the longest? It really shouldn't. Follow me. Now I need to get a head start in her because I need to find some way to jump up onto a ledge when I get to this place and stay away from her sword hits. I don't think there's anywhere I can jump onto. I don't think my acrobatics is good enough. I picked it as a skill. Yeah, I've... Uh, oops. She's taking damage. How much damage are you taking? Not a lot. Yeah, if you ever want to kill Umbra easily, you can do this if you're an Argonian. Otherwise, you can lead her into town if you know the proper strat. I don't know why it failed for me, but I guess I'll find out what the proper strat is when I upload this video, so... Okay, she's doing good damage to me now. Let's jump, jump, jump is good speed. Oh, fuck her! Oh, this is annoying. Stop 
hitting me. Uh, bollocks, what's her health at? Uh, it's not low enough. I do have one potion of sorcery, I think. Nope, actually, never mind. Oh, there's Welkin Stones here. If I could get one of those, I could get my magic up, and then I could get some healing, maybe. Or I could just keep luring her. I have good health now. I should be okay. I just have to be careful. Come on, die, Umbra. You should be dead soon. Probably should have picked up those Welkin Stones so I can restore magic here, so I could heal. Health's very low. I think her health's low, too, so we'll see who dies first. It's probably gonna be me. Fuck off! It's very fun having a set plan that you know works, that you test it works, and then you go into the game ready to record and none of your plans work again. She's right behind me, that's an issue. Are you almost dead? N not really. Oh fuck off! Go away woman, go away! I need to redo this. I need to load back. I need to get some milk and stone so I can actually heal and restart this whole thing. This is fucking infuriating. My god, I just want Umbra's sword. I just want her sword. Why did my plans fail? I don't know, but they are, and they have, and this is just annoying. Give me those. I need them. Yoink! Oh, that was skillage. Did you see that? Ooh, look at that. That was nice. Is there any way I can jump up onto one of these? No. How about this wall? My acrobatics is not good enough. Uh, da, 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 no. No, no, you're, we're just gonna have to run around in circles. But I have some magicka now at least, so it should work. Okay, I've been doing this for a bit. Getting good damage on her, I, I suspect. I have a good running pattern now. She hasn't hit me yet. Watch now she'll hit me. Watch now she'll hit me. Yeah, I've got a good pattern down. If you kind of weave in between these places, you kind of disrupt her AI a bit so that she can't actually hit you. I wish I would have discovered this last playthrough. Umbra, just go down. I need you dead. The issue with the guards attacking her was that they, they ruin her armors and swords durability. Okay, she hit me once. That's actually not that bad for how long we've been going. I think poison damaging her shouldn't damage her armor and weapons, which means we won't need a lot of gold to repair her stuff, which is actually a benefit. She has to be almost dead now. Come on. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Give me your so I, I don't even want to celebrate that. That took way too long. That took much longer than it needed to. Her sword durability is down by two. That's not that bad. Okay, we have a bunch of armor. We have a bunch of stuff. I'm not going to equip the armor now because it's actually very heavy. Watch this. If you thought the running speed of Morrowind was bad, this is just like the same thing. Yeah, I'm going to take it off now. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take all the Welkin stones here. I need to get some healing. God damn, that took a long time. I thought this was going to be quick. I really thought that was going to take two minutes. There we go, I got some stones. Did you hear that, my ex? All right. So, since I don't have a lot of strength, which could be a worry when taking on the gatekeeper, what I will need is strength. And what's a good way to get strength? You become a stage 4 vampire, is what you do. So that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna become a stage 4 vampire. There's a vampire cave not too far from here. It's like around here somewhere, there's a vampire cave around. I'm not gonna use my Umber Sword now because I don't want to put down the durability so it does less damage. I need as much damage as I can do. I'm just gonna try and kill the vampires by hand to hand and see how we do. But yeah, I need to get infected, I need to become a vampire. We're gonna go to the Shivering Isles. I also need to make sure I don't become a stage 4 vampire before entering the Shivering Isles, but we have plenty of time before that happens. Because I don't think NPCs will talk to us. Or will they? I forget if it's like Skyrim or Morrowind where NPCs won't talk to you if you're like a, a vampire. Oh, wants to kill me? What's oh, Bandit? Oh, cool. I need, I need your weapons. Give me your sledgehammer. Sledgehammer buddies again. You could have a steam train. Alright, have a sledgehammer again. I don't know if we even need to boost our strength that much to defeat the gatekeeper because Umbra's sword does more damage than the gatekeeper's health regeneration, but I just want that extra bit of strength so we just have that bit of edge because doing all this preparation only to face the gatekeeper and fail is not something I want to happen. <laughs> Why did I pick up the Nurn root? I don't know. Maybe I wanted the Nurn root. Memorial Cave, is this it? This might be it? I'll check. Where are you, vampires? I think this is the one. There are Skelemans here. <laughs> Are you a vampire? Infect me. I think you have a bow, so you might not actually infect me. Oh, I've gotten it. That was kind of quick. Okay, well. 
my guy's flailing around. Uh, I'll take all your stuff. I, ne I need some gold when I go back to the Imperial City. Vampire dust is worth a bit too. I'll buy some healing potions. We'll go to the Shivering Isles, become a stage 4 vampire. That's the hope anyway. Oh, she's gonna kill me. Yeah, just run. I could use my Umber Sword, but I'm keeping that durability maxed. Or at least close to max. Go down, you press. Let's go to the Imperial City. Actually, I'm gonna visit Shady Sam really quick. I have only 12 gold. We're gonna check real quick. I can always come back. There's Skumabu strength. Strength is what we want. Oh, it's a nice old morning. I like the mornings in Oblivion. They look really serene and beautiful. Hello. You need something special? I just want Skumabu. May I interest you in some of my fine wares? Fortified strength, 60 points? Fuck being a vampire, Skuma. Plans changed. <laughs> 60 points? Does it stack? It doesn't even matter if it stacks, that's enough. 7 a.m. getting up in the morning. I want cereal. I see my friends. Kicking it in the front seat. So becoming a vampire is pointless. Which seat will I take? It's Thursdays, Thursdays. Gotta get up on Thursdays. You can have all my fur crap. I need enough for some healing potions and enough for some skooma. Which I don't know if this will be enough, but look, we'll see what we're working with. Don't sell the Umbra gear. I can only buy like two potions of minor healing. Well, hopefully I can keep good distance away from the gatekeeper. I have everything for the budding alchemist under one roof. Yeah, but you have feckin' have skooma. No, then you're worthless. Uh, I'll have two of them. I'll buy one more for luck. There you go. Bye now. Where's Shady Sam? Just a naked Arconian with a sledgehammer. Oh, I can level up. We're not doing that because I need the gatekeeper to have 80 points of health. We might be a bit overpowered actually for the gatekeeper with Skuma. So uh, this could be a this could be an absolute cakewalk. 137. I've only enough for one. I didn't even need to become a vampire. Well, feck it. Whatever. Let's go to the Shivering Isles. We've been here long enough. We're almost there. We're almost there. All this just to take down the gatekeeper. My God, I did not think the Umbra thing would have taken that long. Now we just have to go through the whole intro here. Can't talk now. But you're talking now. He's smiling at me. Oh, he likes me. He likes Argonians that are naked with sledgehammers. Maybe it's this type. They're just calm music during all this. Down you go. Talk to me, Shakorath. Unworthy, unworthy, unworthy. You have a vine coming out of your nose. You want a tissue? Really? Do come in. It's lovely in the aisles right now. Now we can go and you can't enter until he goes through his whole spiel. Hi Haskell, I'm gonna sit down because you won't talk to me otherwise. Yeah. I'm here to kill the gatekeeper with Skuma. I hope you'll allow me in. Yes. yes, I'll do it. I'll go in. Here's one of the most beautiful parts of Oblivion right here. The Shivering Isles is such a great DLC. Oh, that's stunning. That never gets old. Never gets old. That is beautiful. I love the Shivering Isles. It's the best DLC for any game ever. I really mean that. Okay, I'm just gonna book it to the gatekeeper. I wanna meet the Nee 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 Argonian. I'm perfect for the realm of Mandos. I'm just a naked Argonian with a sledgehammer. Nee 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 Where are you? There's the bone fella. You talk to him if you wanna take down the gatekeeper the legit way by using bone arrows to remove all his debuffs and all that. Are you over here Nee 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 Nee? Where are you? I can't even find her. This video is just, it's just, it's just a wreck. Oh, she doesn't even live in this town. She lives in another town. I thought she lived here. Whatever, whatever, I'm mistaken. As always. I thought she was here, never mind. Let's just go kill the gatekeeper. Actually, since we're here, now I can, da da da, Umbra. There we go, wait, where's the greaves? There's the pants. Now we have the Umbra sword. I love the design of Umbra. Umbra reminds me of old, like, Oblivion YouTube back in, like, 2006. Yes, I've been around on YouTube that long. All the old YouTube videos about Oblivion would have the Umbra sword, and it's just nostalgic to me looking at it. It's a nice-looking Saturn. Oh, Jesus, he knocked him so far away. He knocked him. He knocked him so far away. He's just looking at me. Why are you eyeing me? He's just like, you're too overpowered. You're too prepared. I'm actually a bit nervous. What if this fails? Oh, no. They're bleeding all over the place. That's what happens when you go into battle. The formidable gatekeeper has destroyed a party of adventurers. I should talk to the residents before trying to deal with this creature. Thank your advice. Screw that. Hi, gatekeeper. Oh. 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 oh.
We didn't even need the skooma or the vampirism. Umbra was more than enough to take down the gatekeeper. I thought that was going to be one of the hardest fights I'll ever do. Maybe if I was like level 10, that would have been a lot harder. But we killed the gatekeeper using unintended means at level 1. <laughs> I guess that's the end. I'm kind of fed up with this challenge now because of the Umbra shite. This challenge should have been a lot shorter than it actually was, but we did it. The gatekeeper's dead. I can just leave. I have the keys to Mania and Dementia. There's Haskell. So, you've managed to kill the gatekeeper. Yes, I have. It didn't take two seconds. Bye. I live to serve. Uh, I want to go to Mania, because Mania is pretty nice looking. Hello. Is that Sugar Rat? Sounds like how they pronounce it in Morrowind. Instead of Shake or it's just like Sugar Rat. Here's Mania. Here's our reward. We get to explore the rest of the Shivering Isles, but that's it. I'm done. We've done the challenge. We defeated the Gatekeeper pretty feckin' easily, I'll be honest. If you enjoyed, be sure to let me know if you have any other challenge ideas for Oblivion that could be pretty interesting to do. Cheers all of you for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next video.